Good evening, good evening, good evening, guys. Good evening. It is me, Clarissa here on Clarissa Says, where Clarissa says it all, and that is how I feel. So we are back with another video. And this video, per the title, is one of those cases where it's kind of like you asked for it. It's kind of like this this was bound to happen. It's kind of like not totally surprising whatsoever. And the fact of the matter is this YouTuber has done this before multiple different times. And besides that, he has done other kind of like, I'm going to say kind of off touchy type of uh, pranks. And so his time was sure to come. I mean, I didn't expect something like this. I expected something like him getting, you know, maybe beat up or something like that, some kind of weird out there response, but nothing to this extreme. And do you know, the truth of the matter is, David Starnes or Starnes, depending on how you pronounce his last name, David Starnes Starnes Jr., I personally doesn't, do not feel like he, he is wrong in the situation. So for those of you that did not read the title and just coming through this video, I want to make sure you guys understand what happened. YouTuber, 20-year-old YouTuber, Timothy Wilkes, did a prank, a robbery prank. And David Starnes and a group of his people, his friends, at this urban jumping trampoline center down in Tennessee were caught in the midst of this prank. So you have to imagine somebody, no matter what the complexion of the skin color is, it doesn't matter. Somebody comes up to you with a knife. First of all, yes, it was a butcher knife, but it's still a knife. It's some object. Even if he didn't know it was a knife or not, he felt an object. It could have been a plastic toy. You're, you're coming with me at me threatening to rob me with some kind of something that you are portraying to be something that can harm me, something that can you know, cause me to not be able to defend myself or have a lack of defense. And this guy, thank creator, David, actually was licensed. He was carrying a licensed, a licensed firearm. I cannot stress that enough because I feel like if his, if his firearm was not licensed, they would have tried to twist this some way, somehow. And it's my opinion. This is how I feel. You guys leave your comments down below and tell me how y'all feel, but I'm telling you how I feel. This is my channel. I can tell you how I feel. And how I feel is if it, if his gun was not licensed, then this would have been some kind of a twist in this situation. No, this young man, 20 year old Timothy came up to this group of people and 23 year old David was within this group of people and he threatened to rob them with a with an object that was that could have been deadly and that's just what happened and david went into defense mode and he ended up killing timothy and all of this was for a prank so what he does timothy i'm referring to timothy what timothy does is go to lower income locations in his city of tennessee and he records these videos of him robbing or making fun or making jokes or making you know if he kind of related um conversations with lower income citizens normally to be black african-american people and that's what he's been doing his channel has grown great a deal from him doing videos like this and today he just caught the wrong person and it, the game was over you cannot it's to be truth be truth be told these pranks pranks is a prank you know if you're pranking somebody that you know your friends you know family members whatever they know what is going on then they know what's going on but you can't be pranking random people especially in depending on the prank that you're doing without them realizing or knowing that you're actually pranking them i mean i know you want to get like the most you know authentic response from your prank but it can end in a deadly situation depending on what the prank is and this is one of those situations that ended up being a deadly situation and again you have to put your shoes 
on the other foot. You can't just say, oh, well, it was a prank. No, someone can run up to you and said that they're robbing you with a knife. Granted, it was a butter knife, whatever, but that's the mentality. And I have been trained. I'm licensed to protect myself. I'm going to use my rights and protect myself. And that's what David did. So he would not be getting into trouble. There's no way that he can't get into trouble. He is not wrong in the situation. And I hate the people, the people that are out there that are going to talk about skin complexion and skin color and melanated and not melanated, all that. That's not, that has nothing to do with anything. It has to do with just politics and law. Lawfully, a man walked up to another man and threatened to rob that other man. It could have been a female walking to another female and threatening to rob the other female and the female corrected the same exact way. But guess what? It's a prank. That's not their business. You walked up to rob them and that's all they know. They were not a part of your pranks. You cannot just be doing that to people. Y'all need to be very careful out there with these YouTube channels and these pranks. I know y'all want to go viral. I know y'all want, you know, 100,000, 2,000, you know, million subscribers and you want viral, viral content to have like a million views and 100,000 views and this and that. But you should never put your life in jeopardy for fame, fortune, or clout. That's just my opinion. You never put yourself in jeopardy for fame, fortune, clout, money, whatever you want to call it. You don't do it. You don't do it. You do not do it because it can end up in a bad, bad, bad situation. And that's what happened in this situation. So I want to make sure I cover this story because it's something that you guys need to hear out there, especially you guys out there that are really trying to, you know, get these weird, weird, you know, ideas for your YouTube channel and to prank this person, prank that person. Be very, very careful what you are doing and who you are doing these things with and the areas and the people and just in general, just don't do something that can cause you to get yourself into trouble one way or another. It doesn't have to, have to be death. It could just be something. Just don't put yourself in a predicament that can cause you harm. That's it. That's it, period. That's all I have to say. So that being said, make sure you subscribe, like, share. Leave your comments down below. I will link a couple of articles down below as well if you want to get more information and more details that I maybe have not given to you. Maybe you're looking for more. I, I think I covered everything, but if you just want to read upon this more and get more knowledge upon the situation, I will leave some links down below that you can visit. And make sure you check my videos out. R.I.P. Timothy Wilkes, I do give my condolences to his family, you know, and um, I just want you guys to be smart out there and just take this as a lesson. For those of you that are doing these pranks and want to grow your channel, take this as a lesson and just make sure you're mindful what you're doing, especially in the areas and the people and just um, just in general, forget the areas and people, just, just in general, people. You can't play people like that. You cannot play with people like that. And that's just it. So I'm going to let this video go. I love you guys. And I will see you on my next video. Leave all your comments down below. I'm out. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye, guys.